Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Maker Gaming. This is Satisfactory Early Access. Um, update 6 just came out yesterday. Uh, this is the experimental build, so we're going to start a new factory. Um, we're going to start in the Northern Forest. That's the closest place to all the updates. And I skipped intro for the past two or three playthroughs, so I think while recording we're gonna we're gonna start it start it from the very beginning so here we go all right we are in our drop ship working for the fix it corporation and we are about to be dropped on massage 2a the following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for fix it incorporated fix it pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall imminent. You to Please remain seated assessment. during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. Alright, so here we go. We're flying down to the planet. Um, I think we experienced our first experimental mode glitch. Um, we got both ADAs right there. We got the informative ADA and there's creepy ADA again. Uh, that's the creepy ADA that comes on demanding whenever you go near an artifact. Um, it's kind of weird having them both mixed up. Hopefully if you're new to the game, you uh, could understand what she was saying in the little demo. The little explanation of the goal. So our goal is to Find all the resources on the planet. planet mine complete. them. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. I'll try and be quiet when Ada's talking. Um, for anyone that's new to the game. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Note Objective based introduction initialized. Welcome to Onboarding. Right, First so. objective, please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. All important fix it data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Alright, so that's our little intro to the game, and there is our first view, uh, unless you watched my little first impressions video, uh, that's our first view of the new Spire Coast biome. Um, that's probably as close as we're going to get to it for a little while. Um, I don't think there's many good resources in that area up until we get to tier 5 with the oil. So for now, we'll just kind of take a look at it, and then go get started, start making Ada happy. 
Um, it's a pretty cool biome. It's very bright. It, uh, it used to be very gray, very kind of boring coast. Um, just over kind of a... Had to go there because of the large, um, large source of oil, but it'll be a lot more fun to build over there with how bright it is. So, let's go to where I want to start this base. Sounds like something's behind me. So Ada might be quiet until get some sulfur. So like most uh, simulation games, building games, you start off with almost nothing. Once we're not being chased, I'll take a look. Our first hog, that's pretty quick. Oh, it won't even let me open until I open the codex, so let's get away from him. So this is our inbox, tutorials, recipes. We know all this stuff. We'll get into it later. Um, Second objective. Please ensure you have your fixit incorporated go. Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, according to fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. All right. Let's go past the weird uh, hand structure. <laughs> Third objective, please familiarize your yourself base. with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. So as a walkthrough, uh, this is going to be kind of a slower paced uh, first few episodes at least, uh, while we get through the tutorial, first couple tiers. So. As I'm running, I'm constantly picking up biomass because that is one of the, uh, that's your first source of energy in the game. Um, your only autom- it's the only energy source that's not automated, so, uh, one of the biggest parts of the game is getting out of this, uh, getting out of this, uh, constantly picking up materials. Um, we don't want to do that. We want everything to be automated. Uh, I think we might be here. I think this is where I want to start. Uh, I found this place in a couple playthroughs, and I always thought it'd be a great place to start because there's a lot of resources, uh, a lot of your three main starting resources. Uh, but for the tutorial stage, they just want us to know about iron. So let's start there. Scan for iron. All right, so we got one, two, three, four. We have six nodes all within this little valley there, and I'm pretty sure if I remember right, a lot of them are pure. So let's get started. Fourth objective, build the hub. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop track will be consumed. compels you to harvest this artifact. Caution, ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non optimal progress. That could seem to take quite a few hits. Alright. So, what's our first step? Doesn't really matter where the hub is. Um, So that's our build menu. Uh, right now we just have the hub, which you can only build one of, and the craft bench, which we don't need because there's one right here. Congratulations, you have unlocked hub feature, manual craft bench, hub feature, hub terminal. Fifth objective, complete hub upgrade one. Note, 
The craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Thank you, Ada. I was about to explain that. Um, yeah, so this is our craft bench. Uh, this is the first way we get items. It's the first time we are able to craft any sort of recipes. So um, most of the recipes in the game are based around mining raw resources and then uh, producing iron ingots out of that or whatever material and then um, turning those ingots into different products. And it gets a little more complicated. Well, it gets a lot more complicated. Um, well, you'll see. So we're just going to get some base resources to start. I don't know exactly what we need. I have not done the uh, tutorial for a long, long time. Um, first time I played this game was March of last year. And I think I've played at least to towards, towards these six or seven tiers, uh, three or four different playthroughs, so... Alright, so there's three main ways to progress in this game. Uh, we'll get to the other two later, uh, the awesome shop and the ma'am, but for now, um, it's the tiers. So what you want to do is we go through, we select each tier. Um, there's a milestone cost for each milestone. Oh, I just used all. I should have checked. So anyways, you select the milestone, and once you produce these resources and feed them into the hub, then we get these rewards. So that'll be our first important portable miner. So let's go get one more cop and one more iron and get that going. One equals six. Alright, now we'll just start producing what we need so we don't have to do that going back for one item. There we go. So now we have a frame around our hub. Hopefully Ada stops Congratulations. Budding. You have unlocked building workshop equipment portable miner inventory additional slots. Hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade to, note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Alright, so, as this is kind of a walkthrough, especially at the beginning, we'll just talk about them all. Um, this is where we craft equipment, uh, things outside of the recipes. Uh, portable miner, that's going to be super useful till we first get our first constructors and the inventory slots. So, in this game, they have what's called the pocket dimension. Um, basically, it's it's a crafty way of saying you have uh, unlimited carrying capacity. So, you know, we could have I think a stack of whatever it is, 200 iron. We could have harvest. Oh, Ada, I, I hope this isn't a glitch It's going to last. So what that is, is there's uh, artifacts around the game which are related to um, the full version that'll come out with the story mode. So nobody knows exactly what that story mode is yet, but uh, we're pretty sure that the artifacts that are sprinkled around the game are uh, around the planet are part of the, uh, the story. So anytime you get near one of those artifacts, Ada goes a little wild and she starts demanding that you uh, find the find the artifact and uh, bring it back to your base. So it usually only happens when you're within a few yards of an artifact, but because this is experimental, there's a lot of glitches. And um, I think Coffee Stain noted that this is the most experimental update of all the experimental updates so uh, they said to kind of expect a lot of uh, a lot of glitches so uh, what else did we get we got the pocket dimension the equipment workshop and the miner so what do we need one of these so we'll put it a little bit of ways and this is where we'll get our portable miner. Let's see, we need two of these, four of these. If we're 
real good. This will be the last time we ever use um, the I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Okay, to, let's, if there's really one around here, we should get it to stop that. They're usually difficult to get. That's a power slug. That is not an artifact. I really don't think there's one in this area, or that's real close to me. Uh, so I apologize for her. We're just going to deal with that. our first miner, portable miner, so just place this here. Uh, really good animations in these games for all the machines, so here's our portable miner. It doesn't take any power. You just go find a node, put it on there, and it'll start constantly uh, it'll start constantly mining for us. Why? So now this is just constantly going until we pick it up and it'll hold up to a hundred resources and we can just leave it there. Relaying message. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Oh man. That's one of the funnier uh, excuses she uses the first you know, a few dozen times. Alright, upgrade two. Let's see. Now we're gonna get copper, we're gonna get power. The smelter, that's what, um, that's how you automate um, the raw ore to uh, the ingots. So that'll be our first automation, so let's get that. Like I said, this is gonna be a slow process. Uh, once we get once we get through the hub upgrades, I'll, I'll do more uh, more video editing, and we'll get through uh, we'll get farther down the road quicker. But for now, we'll just see it all. I'll probably skip some of this. All right. Hopefully, I edited that little. 108 ingots out of that. It's a slow process. Which is annoying, but it's also kind of the point of the game. It, uh, it wants you to automate. Um, so this game is... I mean, I, I've been playing Minecraft for a decade off and on. It's one of those games I always go back to, uh, no matter what else I'm playing. And, uh, this game kind of took that over for me. It's, uh, the possibilities at the end game of this are, are pretty incredible. Congratulations. What you can you build. have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Seventh objective, complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note. Buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Alright. Did I explain all these? Smelter? Yes. Power? Obvious. Um, copper? Wires the first, or, uh, wires the first thing you can make from your car copper ingots. Um, those can further be processed into cable. And we have a new scanner option. So back to V. So now we got two. Uh, let's see where the copper is. It should also be in this little. Yep. So yeah, there's only one copper in this little oasis, but uh, that'll get us through. You know what? Let's get a portable miner. Because we're going to have a smelter real soon, and we're going to start automating. Give me a second, I'll get all these into products. No, 
I'm gonna move a smelter. Let's uh, get a decent amount of resources going. Uh, you can put an unlimited amount of these little things here. Oh, I don't think I mentioned earlier, but so yeah, the pocket dimension, all of our items, no carrying capacity, we can carry whatever we want, and a lot of different stages will unlock more and more, which is very helpful in this game. The more you can carry, it's uh, you're always running out of materials. So here's our copper. Can't wait till I can cut some of these trees down. Let's get the next one going. Oh yeah, so the biomass burners. This is our first power source and as I've been collecting all the, the leaves on the ground, that is how you power this. For it to work, you need a machine. Alright, we need eight copper. Of course, I should have realized that and left. Well, we might have that. Let's see. Say eight wire. Oh yeah, we'll have that. Give me a second. So once we unlock uh, foundations, we will get uh, we'll get organized. But for now, let's just go as messy as. So power lines, oh cable, of course. Uh, the quick keys at the bottom. You can set all these to whatever you want. I don't think we have enough items to even. Power lines new. So if I want smelters, or actually something more useful when you're out in the ground. So you click 5, and now that's in your hotbar down there. And you click 5, and just like that. So that's what I'll be doing when I'm running wires and things like that. Sorry, when I'm running cables. 6 might be enough. Oh, we don't have... that's right. We can only do one at a time for biomass for the moment, so... Alright, so we are officially... Oh! There's our first uh, alien creature that's not um, violent. Flying Ray. And his little... Um, little flying assistants. If you're lucky, and you're above him, you can jump on him and fly him. Well, you can't fly him, but you can go where he wants to go. See? Now we don't have to sit there and make these anymore. Hopefully I didn't make you sit through that and skipped it. Not the best editor yet, though, so you might have to watch it. Alright, so how about grade 3 next? Um, Oh, here comes the night. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here for a second. <laughs>